Hi everyone, so today I will be discussing to you the three topics that I have chosen and these are the management information system, the transaction processing system, and also the last will be the expert system. So now I will start discussing to you the management information system. Ma management information systems professional specializes in creating information systems in a robust and affordable way. They study and understand how data moves through a larger system. An MIS professional will need to understand the system, development life cycle, and will study how to, to increase productivity quality when creating the system. The word management is often left off in most contexts. Often the term system analyst System designer can be exchanged with the MIS term and is more popular to see. There is a few distinct lines between these professions and often you will find it IT. The system designer, system analyst, software designer, and IS, professional doing the same job. The requirements are extensive for MIS professionals and can be the biggest issue when attempting to train for these professions. Working on larger teams can help mitigate the knowledge requirements for each individual. The most important credentials and certification for MIS are a degree and the quality standards they use. Six Sigma and ISO being the top ones, there are also some security standards that sell well. Now let's move on to the functions of management information system. First is to process transactions. Information system process transactions where transactions may be defined as an activity taking place in an organization. For example, making a purchase or sale or manufacturing a product. It be within the organization or external in nature. Second is to update, maintain a master file. Information system creates and maintains a master file in an organization. A master file stores permanent or historical data about organizational entities. For example, data processing to prepare employee salary requires data items for the employee basic pay, allowances, deductions, and etc. Next, we need to produce reports. Reports are the significant products of an information system. Many reports are produced on a regular basis, which are called schedule reports. An information system also produces reports on ad hoc requests. These are known as special or ad hoc requests. And then we also have to process inquiries. An information system is used to process inquiries for processing such queries, the information system uses its database. Then, we also need to process interactive support applications. The information system contains application design to support system for planning, analyzing, and decision making. Various types of models are used for such type of application. Now let's go to the components of information management system. A computer-based information system is essentially an IS using computer technology to carry out some or all of its planned tasks. The basic components of computer-based information systems are, first is the hardware. These are the devices like the monitor, processor, printer, and keyboard, all of which work together to accept process show data and information. Second, we have the software. These are the programs that allow the hardware to process the data. Then we also have the network. The network are, the, are a connecting system that allows diverse computer to distribute its resources. Third, we have the databases. Databases are the gathering of associated files or tables containing related data. All right, so now let's move on to our second topic. And the second will be that I will be discussing to you will be the transaction processing system. 
which is an information processing system for business transactions involving the collection, modification, and retrieval of all transactions data. The characteristics of a TPS includes performance, reliability, and consistency. The finance and accounting TPS major function would typically include budgeting, the nominal ledger, and invoicing. The system might be split into a number of modules including nominal ledger, accounts receivable, budgeting, and treasury management. The human resource TPS major function would typically include personnel records, benefits, salaries, labor relations, and training. The system might be split into a number of modules including payroll, employee records, employee benefits, career path, systems or appraisal. The feature of a TPS are rapid response, which is the performance is fast with a rapid response in critical times. The second one is continuous availability, wherein the systems must be available during the time period when the users are entering transactions. The third one is data integrity, wherein the system must be able to handle hardware or software problems without corrupting data. And ease of use, often, often users of DPS are casual users. The two-way process transaction is real-time processing, also called online processing, where data is processed immediately after a transaction occurs. Examples are check, clearing, and flight reservation. The batch processing where transaction data are accumulated over a period of time and processed periodically. Example is payroll system. The examples of the transaction processing systems are sales order entry, online payment, flight reservation, manufacturing and shipping, payroll, and employee record. My analysis for TPS or the transaction processing system is that the processing in which a system responds to a user's command to carry out some operation to and for. The request or command is called transaction, and the system that is carrying it out is also called TPS. Examples for this is cash machines. Transaction processing systems are the systems working at a low level of any organizational structure, being operated by data entry, operations to collect and store data is needed, to be transported then to decisional level of organizations. But it is important to make sure nothing goes wrong at this level of handling data before it is transported to upper level to be manipulated and then making decisions based information provided. Therefore, in order to ensure the organization can reach their goals effectively and efficiently, transaction processing system play a specific role. TPS is a very useful in support of the activities of the business organization. The third topic and will be my last topic to discuss will be the expert system. An expert system is an AI software that uses knowledge stored in a knowledge-based to solve problems that only require a human expert. The last topic are an expert system is an AI software that uses knowledge stored in a knowledge base to solve problems that would usually require a human expert. Thus, preserving human experts' knowledge in its knowledge base, they can advise users as well as provide explanations to them about how they reach a particular conclusion or advice. Some examples of expert systems are MYCIA. This is one of the earliest expert systems based on backward chaining. It can identify various bacteria, 
that can cause severe infections and can also recommend drug based on the person's weight. The 23 po also have dendral. It was an artificial intelligence based expert system used for chemical analysis. We also have PXDS. It could easily determine the type and the degree of lung cancer in a patient based on the data. The purpose of an expert system is to provide reasonable advice at a comparable level to that provided by a human expert. This capability has two main aims. First is to enhance the abilities of leading experts in a certain fields and to make a high level of expertise available to less highly qualified practitioners. And I conclude that the expert system gives a big role in medical field and for the people to easily detect and diagnose the symptoms or disease that the patient may face. It is mainly developed using AI concepts, tools, and technology.